Hi, my name is Austin James, and in this video I'm going to discuss the root causes of my emotional abuse, and specifically one of the three root causes to my abuse. And please keep in mind this is my experience. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist or a counselor, nor have I ever played one on TV, okay? I'm just a man who lived for three decades as an emotional abuser until being set free about five years ago. There may certainly be other causes to emotional abuse. However, what I'll discuss is prevalent, I believe, in most cases, uh, and certainly in all of the men and women uh, who I have come into contact with during the past five years that uh, have exhibited a, uh, emotional abusive behaviors. So there were three identified causes to my emotional abuse, arrested development, life commandment, and mother and son enmeshment. And what I call that uh, is a, being a surrogate husband. There's actually several titles to that. So in this video, I'm going to briefly cover arrested development. So normally the root cause of abuse is some traumatic event or events happened to us in our childhood, normally under the age of 13, that freezes our ability to develop uh, emotionally. Those traumatic events could be rejection, could be abandonment, could be abuse that we have suffered, or could be the death of a parent uh, or some type of molestation. And that that childhood trauma actually can prevent chemicals that are tasked with carrying messages throughout our brain from being released into our brain. Now that, that release would normally happen around the age of 13 or so. And those chemicals actually, they're carriers if you will, enable us to think abstractly as we mature. Uh, we don't need those carriers, we don't need messages to go all around our brain and be able to think abstractly as a child because really our world's pretty simple. Uh, as, a, as a young baby, we eat, we sleep, and we poop, right? As we go, grow into an adolescent, uh, really all our decisions are made for us. So we don't need that ability to think abstractly to be able to make our own decisions. So the trauma that occurred to me locked my emotional development at the age of 12. And even though I grew older and I walked around as an adult on the outside, I was still a 12-year-old child on the inside. I thought and I reasoned as a 12-year-old would, not as an adult. And uh, I was scared to death in my world, right? Because I was progressing and I was looked at as an adult. I took on adult responsibilities. I got married. I had children. But think how a small child reacts when something doesn't go according to their ex expectations. They get angry and they throw a temper tantrum, right? Well, that's exactly what I did as I, I grew up and my expectations weren't being met. I threw an adult-sized temper tantrum. I used anger and manipulation to control my surroundings because I didn't know how to operate them as a normal adult would. I was this 12-year-old kid. I scrambled to control whatever portion of my world I could just so I could feel safe in my own world. I was in a constant survival mode trying to cope with my world and surroundings. And the primary tool I used was anger, just as a child would. Again, a child doesn't know how to think abstractly, uh, nor is a young child good at reasoning yet. So I used anger to control because it was the only tool that I learned how to master, quote unquote, I thought, but really after just a short period of time, anger really started mastering me. So as my anger became more effective at controlling, manipulation uh, using that anger wasn't far behind. Now while all this is occurring, I, on the outside I put on this mask to appear as if I had it all together. I mean after all I was an adult, okay? I had to keep everyone at a distance from me emotionally because I feared that they would get too close to me and they would see beneath that mask and they would expose that inner child and that would bring up all kinds of bad memories and I just couldn't allow that to happen. I, could, I had to try to control my world and so I used anger to keep people at bay away from me and keep a distance from me. So this uh, frozen emotional development stayed with me for the entire 30 year time frame that I was abusive. Up until I discovered what caused my abuse just five years ago and using several psychological tools, and here's a shameless plug for my book, I discuss it more in my book, I was able to heal from it. So it's important to remember, I wasn't born ab uh, abusive. I didn't wake up one day and say, gee, I think I'll try abuse to see if I can get what I want out of life. There were specific things that happened to me, that specific things that happened to most uh, abusers that caused the abuse. And once those things are discovered, 
um, and with a ton of hard work and failures along the way, I was able to, to overcome them and live a normal, uh, emotionally mature and healthy life today. And most abusers can. There's just some things that are key that they wake up and become aware to their abuse. So thanks for listening. If you'd like to get uh, more insight into my damaged 30-year emotionally abusive mind, be sure to check out my book on Amazon, okay? It's a great help whether you are being abused or whether you are in an abusive relationship with your mate. There's a link right below in the description or you'll see the cover image and the title coming up next. It's available on Amazon. Thanks for listening.